Welcome to the presentation. Resonance and Engineering Failures Greetings to everyone. I am Kishore Kumar Aguna. I have 10 plus years of industrial experience and uh, worked in various mechanical engineering disciplines such as NDT, welding inspection and condition based maintenance. As of now, I am working as an independent consultant and uh, associated with various organizations involved in testing, commissioning and plant reliability and maintenance. I would like to share my experience and prepare notes on various reliability and maintenance topics which are collected from various books, articles and videos from internet. This presentation prepared on rotating machinery resonance vibration and its effects on various machinery failures and also various techniques involved to diagnose and uh, to solve this uh, resonance vibration. Before we begin, let's see few motivational words of Nikola Tesla. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. The principle cannot fail. It is as powerful when applied to the earth as it is when applied to a violin note shattering a wine glass, a boy pushing a man on a swing, or a steel link. Anyone who doubts should only bear in mind the illustration of the swing. A small boy, by each time adding a pound to the force with which a 200-pound man swings, can soon set the man swinging with the force of 500 pounds. It is necessary only to keep adding a little force at the right time. Reese, what is resonance? The term resonance, from Latin resonantia, echo, from resonare, resound. In physics, Resonance describes the phenomenon of amplification that occurs when the frequency of a periodically applied force is in harmonic proportion to a natural frequency of the system on which it acts. When an oscillating force is applied at a resonant frequency of a dynamical system, the system will oscillate at a higher amplitude than when the same force is applied at other, non-resonant frequencies, resonant frequencies. Frequencies at which the response amplitude is a relative maximum are also known as resonant frequencies of the system. Small periodic forces that are near a resonant frequency of the system have the ability to produce large amplitude oscillations in the system due to the storage of vibrational energy. Resonance phenomena occur with all types of vibrations or waves, there is mechanical, acoustic, electromagnetic, nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR electron spin resonance, ESR, and resonance of quantum wave functions, why we need to concern about resonance. It may cause violent swaying motions and even catastrophic failure in improperly constructed structures including bridges, buildings and airplanes. This is a phenomenon known as resonance disaster. Avoiding resonance disasters is a major concern in every building, tower and bridge construction project. Not only bridges, towers and skyscrapers, but also blades, bearings, piping and fasteners can fail due to resonance. Air and gas vapor columns can also resonate at their natural frequencies, in the same way that percussion instruments work, and this can lead to failures, famous engineering failures due to resonance. 1. Tacoma Narrows Bridge Soon after being completed in 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington suffered a fatal collapse due to several design flaws. The most notable design flaw was the unusually slender frame of the bridge, measuring just 39 feet wide and only accommodating two lanes of traffic. Excessive side-to-side -side swaying and vertical flapping earned the Tacoma Bridge its nickname, Galloping Journey. Unfortunately, all attempts to stabilize the bridge were made in vain, as on November 7, 1940, the Tacoma Bridge began to violently twist, shake, and undulate uncontrollably. After investigation, civil engineers concluded that the collapse was caused by resonance, a phenomenon that hinged on the wind vibrating at the same frequency as the structure itself, causing a gradual increase in stress on the bridge until it eventually gave out under the pressure, famous engineering failures due to resonance. 2. International Space Station a faulty rocket command sequence aboard the International Space Station caused the 300-ton structure to shake back and forth vigorously for two minutes last month, during what was supposed to be a routine, gentle orbital adjustment. 
space experts in Houston and Moscow have spent the last two weeks searching for the cause of the shaking and doing a damage assessment. Under the worst-case scenario, such vibrations could rattle the station so much over the long term that the structure might begin to crack and leak. One of the solar arrays might bend out of position, affecting the station's power generating system. Experts cautioned that it was too early to determine how likely or unlikely these scenarios might be, famous engineering failures due to resonance. 3. Helicopter Ground Resonance The helicopter's airframe has its own natural frequency, which can be excited by an out-of-balance rotor. Usually there is a triggering event, a bump or a landing or takeoff on sloping ground or with a little sideways or forward motion. A jolt moves the mass while the blades because of the freedom of motion allowed by their hinges, lag a little behind. The rotor, now slightly out of balance, begins to wobble like a slowing top. If the characteristic vibration frequency of the airframe is close enough to the rate of rotation of the rotor, it joins the dance, amplifying the rotor wobble, mechanical system in vibration. A mechanical system containing of three main components. 1. Dot mass 2. Dot stiffness 3. Dot damping The resonant frequency depends on the mass, stiffness, and spin of the excited member. In general terms, the natural frequency of a structural member is inversely proportional to its mass and stiffness. In other words, a large turbo compressor's casing will have a lower natural frequency than that of a small in-suction centrifugal pump, mechanical resonance and types. Two major classifications of resonance are found in most manufacturing and process plants. 1. Static and 2. Dynamic Both types exhibit a broad-based, high-amplitude frequency component when viewed in a fast Fourier transform, FFT, or frequency domain, vibration signature. Unlike meshing or passing frequencies, the resonance frequency component does not have modulations or sidebands. Instead, Resonance is displayed as a single, clearly defined peak, which represents a large quantity of energy. Key points, strong peak at natural frequency. The base of the peak will also be elevated. Machine and process noise can excite a natural frequency causing large humps to appear in the spectrum. If you vary the machine speed, the vibration amplitude will change if it moves closer, increase, or further away, decrease, from the natural frequency. If you monitor the phase at the frequency exciting the natural frequency you will see a 180 degrees phase shift, static resonance. Static resonance is a function of the natural frequency of non-dynamic, or stationary, machine components, for example, casings and bearing support pedestals, and structural members, that is, beams, piping, etc. When one or more of the natural frequencies of a stationary structure is energized or excited, it resonates. Because static resonance is a non-dynamic phenomenon, it is generally not associated with the primary running speed of any associated machinery. Rather, the source of static resonance can be any energy source that coincides with the natural frequency of any stationary component. While most stationary machine components move during normal operation, they are not always resonant. Some degree of flexing or movement is common in stationary machine trains and structural members. The amount of movement depends on the spring constant, or stiffness, of the member, dynamic resonance. When the natural frequency of a rotating, that is, dynamic, structure, such as a bearing or a rotor assembly in a fan, is energized, the rotating machine element resonates. This phenomenon is called dynamic resonance and the rotor speed at which it occurs is the critical speed. Rotor support stiffness depends on the geometry of the rotating element, that is, shaft and rotor, and the bearing support structure. These are the two dominant factors that determine the response characteristics of the rotor assembly. In most cases, running speed is the forcing function that excites the natural frequency of the dynamic component. High amplitudes of the rotor's natural frequency are strictly speed dependent. If the frequency of the energy source, in this case speed, changes to a value outside the resonant zone, the abnormal vibration disappears, testing for resonance. Bump test or natural frequency. In the bump test the recording of the vibration is made after hitting the machine. 
In the spectrum you will then observe the resonant frequencies of the structure. You can confirm the diagnosis with a 95% certainty, in case any of those frequencies is close to the rotation speed, be sure you know with certainty the speed of rotation. Usually this study is enough to diagnose the resonance, however there is another test in case of needing a confirmatory test, testing for resonance. Run-up or coast-down test. This test is performed by recording the vibration during the stoppage. Confirm that effectively the vibration dramatically decreases within the first few seconds, testing for resonance. Bode plot in resonance analysis. Bode diagram is a coast down or run up test that integrates vibration and RPM measured by a tachometer or RPM sensor. This test calculates the FFD and the phase related to the RPM signal at each time interval. This test confirms the resonance by observing a change in the 180 degrees phase between the moments before and after crossing the suspected frequency, testing for resonance. Operating Deflection Shape Analysis Operating Deflection Shape ODS, analysis is a method used for visualization of the vibration patterns of a machine or structure caused by unknown operating forces. This is different from the study of the vibration patterns of a machine under known external forces, which is usually referred to as modal analysis. The operating forces for machinery can typically be influenced by engine speed, load, pressure, temperature, flow, etc. 1. There are four main types of ODS analysis. 2. Time domain ODS. 3. Frequency domain ODS. 4. Running modes ODS, run ups slash run downs. Running orders ODS, run ups slash run downs, testing for resonance. Modal impact test. Modal testing is the form of vibration testing of an object whereby the natural, modal, frequencies, modal masses, modal damping ratios, and mode shapes of the object under test are determined. A modal test consists of an acquisition phase and an analysis phase. The complete process is often referred to as a modal analysis or experimental modal analysis. There are several ways to do modal testing but impact hammer testing and shaker, vibration tester, testing are commonplace. In both cases energy is supplied to the system with a known frequency content. Where structural resonances occur there will be an amplification of the response, clearly seen in the response spectra. Using the response spectra and force spectra. A transfer function can be obtained, testing for resonance. Video processing method. Motion amplification and magnification are video processing methods those detects subtle motion and amplifies or magnify that motion to a level visible to the naked eye. The process decodes light to pull out information that is indicative of motion, even if that motion is too small for the camera to detect with normal methods. The process involves the use of a proprietary camera. A high definition and high dynamic range video camera where every pixel becomes an independent sensor creating millions of data points in an instant, testing for resonance. General Mode Shape and Plot Procedure When the hand feel procedure is performed on a component or structure and it reveals a possible resonant condition, this suspicion should be confirmed by plotting the mode shape on graph paper. This simple procedure can be performed with the most rudimentary of instruments and is very effective in identifying the mode shapes. Where possible, both the horizontal and vertical directions should be plotted, testing for resonance. Finite element modal analysis. Fee simulation work is performed for a variety of reasons, including design of components or assemblies, evaluation and improvement of prototype designs, virtual testing validation of prototype designs, root case failure analysis, and problem troubleshooting. When the vibration is due to resonance of a structural natural frequency, rubbing or looseness etc., it becomes more complicated. In these cases traditional trial and error approach can be time consuming and is considered as the least cost effective method to solve these types of problems. Therefore, a thorough vibration testing combined with detailed finite element analysis FEA, models have become powerful tools to identify and mitigate vibration issues through well-conceived solutions, how to avoid resonance. In most cases, running speed is the forcing function that excites the natural frequency of the dynamic component.
In practice, the following rules can be used to shift a natural frequency and minimize the vibration response of a system. 1. Adding stiffness increases the natural frequency. 2. Adding mass decreases the natural frequency. 3. Increasing damping reduces the peak response but widens the response range. 4. Decreasing damping increases the peak response but narrows the response range. 5. Reducing forcing amplitudes reduces response at resonance, other forms of resonance vibrations. Hydraulic, aerodynamic resonance. The amplitude of hydraulic pump, fans excitations, especially those at blade pass frequencies, is typically a function of one of two pump energy factors, high suction energy and or high, discharge, energy. The pressure pulsation excitations generated from either high, discharge, energy, or high, or very high, suction energy pumps both occur at impeller vein pass frequency, and each can cause destructive acoustic pi president vibration. This occurs when these high energy, pump vein pass, frequency excitations correspond with the frequency that will generate a standing acoustic wave inside a fluid filled channel, other forms of resonance vibrations. Flow Excited Acoustic Resonance Acoustic pulsations are not a frequent or common source of vibration in pumping, air handling systems, their occurrence is increasing with the growing popularity of variable speed pump slash fan drives. When resonant pulsations do develop in a liquid pumping, air handling system, they tend to be high in amplitude and can cause severe vibration problems. Therefore, it is very important to know how these pulsations behave in a liquid pumping, air handling systems, their frequencies, how to predict the acoustic responses of the pump piping system and air handling, and possible corrective actions, other forms of resonance vibrations. Belt Drives, Belt Resonance Resonance in the belt can cause high amplitudes if the belt's natural frequency should happen to coincide with either the driving or driven sheave RPM. The natural frequency can be altered by either changing the length or tension of the belt. Spectrum If the belt's natural frequency coincides with the RPM of either driven component then you expect that the 1x peak to increase in amplitude. The base of the peak may be more broad than normal. Run-up test If you can monitor the vibration as the machine comes up to speed you will expect to see the 1x amplitude increase quickly as it reaches its nominal RPM. Strobe if you synchronize the strobe with the RPM of the driven or driving sheave, pulley RPM then you may be able to see the belts flapping, other forms of resonance vibrations. Electrical System Resonance Electrical power system resonance is also possible and often associated with the presence of harmonics. The power supplied by the electric utility is normally a pure sine wave at the fundamental frequency, commonly 50 Hz or 60 Hz. Connecting nonlinear loads to the power system, however, can inject undesirable frequency components called harmonics at multiples of the fundamental frequency. Adding harmonics to the fundamental frequency produces a distorted, non sinusoidal waveform. Depending on the level of harmonic distortion, harmful effects can range from nuisance tripping and minor faults to damaged motors and pumps and lengthy downtime. Harmonics also increase losses in the power system and electrical equipment. For motors, the higher frequency harmonic components place additional electrical stress on windings, increase rotor heating and reduce motor life. Potentially the most detrimental effect of harmonics is that they could excite a system resonance that damages motors and pumps or even causes system failure. Harmonics can also cause faulty meter readings, motor bearing failure, due to electrical currents blown fusing on power factor corrected systems and telephone communication interference. Many of these problems may go undetected until the affected equipment fails. Now we reached end of this presentation. Whether resonance problems are mechanical, electrical, or some combination of the two, early detection and correction are critical. Resonance problems not only degrade the efficiency of the motor drive system through added losses but they also may lead to equipment or system damage, costly downtime and lost production. I hope you enjoy this presentation. Namaste. Thank you for your attention. Please share your valuable suggestions and feedback to my email kisagnet.gmail.com.